Hello everybody and welcome back to Starbound. So, as I said last time, I'll be showing off where to find the first Site 4 tech. Basically in this game you can get tech which upgrades your character and allows you to do cool little special things. The planet you are looking for is this one here and as normal the coordinates will be down in the description below. This is in the alpha sector by the way and as you can see it's a threat level 5. So basically the tech that I found in this place, I'm not sure if it will be randomised for you guys and for some reason my mouth is, mouse is still glitching. Anyway, the tech that you'll find in this place, from I'm not sure if it will be the same of course, but if it is you'll be getting this. It's a sort of short little speed boost, you have to double tap in the direction that you want to go to get it working. So, if I press the right cred button we can get down onto the planet. Alright, so basically, after spawning down on the planet, do you want to explore the planet? Uh, if my stuff stop, stop scrolling, of course, I could actually survive here. S seriously? Okay, this is like playing Demon Souls, but um, having your weapon swapped every 30 freaking milliseconds. Yep. Okay. Continue as you want then, Mouse. Screw you. Screw you. Anyway. Yep. No. For some reason, it's just gonna. It's gonna keep going, isn't it? Excuse me for one second. There we go. Oops. Well, we've just found out as well that those things can actually kill you sometimes as well. Those there are little power-ups that you can find. They give you temporary power-ups, or apparently temporary death. Which is always nice, you know. It mixes up the game, and I think I met... Nope, I didn't break the controller. Um, the mouse. Joy. We're going to have to deal with this, aren't we? Yay. So, anyway, while we're heading to this... Yep, if you... If the mouse would let me scroll anymore, that... There we go. Nope. Okay. Fine. Fuck you, mouse. Seriously. Anyway. Eventually, if you keep going in one direction or the other... I can't actually remember which direction it is, because I've done this once. I literally did this last night, and then decided, hey, you guys might, might want to know about this, so I showed off. Seriously. Yep. Yeah, okay. Seriously, the, the mouse is not working anymore. This is just fantastic. After this video, I'm going to have to actually sort out my mouse. That's a good idea. Right, okay, so apparently it does not seem to want to change weapon. So anyway, apparently, go left, you will find this place here. Now, there is an opening in the roof there. That was me, because I found a boss monster on this level as well. Um, he was, wasn't really a boss. He's more of a mini-boss. He's quite damn powerful, to be fair. So, yeah, if you do plan on going to this planet, you'll be looking for a blue yeti sort of type of thing. That's the mini-boss, well, what I'm calling a mini-boss, because it was damn, damn powerful. Anyway, basically, arrive into the site, jump down all this stuff here, arrive up through here, and you will be in, as you can see, effectively, Aperture Test Labs. Yes. Now, you see these walls here are stripped. Uh, where it's got the junk metal in the background, like here, where I'm standing on the floor, there was electricity... Uh, wiring, uh, traps and stuff like that. You can get damaged by those, but I have went through prior and pulled them all off the walls. Aren't I lovely? But that is still poisonous. I didn't pull it all off, as you can see. There you go, there's some down there. And yes, I also didn't stop all the poisonous stuff because I'm silly like that. And last time I was not rushing through the place. Anyway, as you can see I didn't even pull off down here really either. That might cause me some problems. Maybe. So basically this area is just a giant jumping puzzle. Of course you can do the way that I did it and rip all of the electricity off the wall. It makes the place a lot more safer and I did this as I was going through because I'm really cheap and I don't like dying. Anyway, so basically you head all the way down here, jump across here. These platforms will not be here because again I put those there because below that is poison. And yep, some it's it, okay. What you're supposed to do here? You're supposed to jump onto that tiny platform, jump to that tiny platform, then up onto that one. I said screw that and put a plank across. Along here, there was electricity pretty much everywhere. Again, I put down platforms and ripped it all off the wall because I'm so lovely. Oh, uh, nearly f there was electricity down there, but again, ripped off the walls. If you see a place where there's supposed to be electricity, I ripped it off the walls. 
<laughs> yes, I'm not the most sort of good person at doing a jump puzzle. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm probably the worst. Uh, there was electricity along here again, pulled off the floor. Because I didn't want to get hurt. And here we are. This is what you're looking for down here. This little chest here will have a thing with a tech sign in it. It'll look a little bit like that, but blueprinty. And then all you have to do is equip that onto yourself by the same way that you do blueprints. In other words, put it up in your hotkey, left click, go up to your spaceship, find a tech section, and then click on the little bit in the tech section and click lock in, and it will lock in that tech for you. And then you have it. Now you have speed dash. So you can do stuff like that. So anyway, I know a few of you may be wondering what on earth this is. If you haven't seen one of these yourself, this here is a very, very rare weapon, which I'm not going to use because I only have one left. Basically, it fires an enormous fireball which sets fire to everything in its path. Uh, if you wonder how to get these, I don't actually remember. Basically, I was exploring a load of planets and I come across this, stole it. I found two. Yeah. Uh, it was in an avian tomb, uh, so you can go along those sort of assumptions and stuff and try and find one for yourself but I cannot for the life of me remember the planet. If I do I will upload a video about it. So until next time you guys have been awesome, I've been the OG Nerd, this has been Starbound and Tura.